All right, so in this video, we're going to be looking at a two variable data table. Uh, so really, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You need two variables. Here, I'm going to use the number of apples, and we're going to put in an arbitrary number. It doesn't matter what you put in here. I just want to show you, you know, uh, to begin with, the formula that we're going to be using. And the price per apple, we're going to put in uh, $10 as well. And now, to be able to do a data table, you're going to need to be solving something. So you need a formula. So we're going to use a very simple formula here, number of apples times the price of apples, which gives us total fruit sales in dollars. Now to set up our data table, in this top left corner here, we're going to need to link to this, to this uh, formula. You always have to be linking to a formula. Now we're going to need to enter some row data. Uh, basically, these are the variables that we want to see. So, for instance, I'm going to use uh, five. Num my number of apples is going to be five, and we're simply going to increase it by five for each for each ta for each um, for each one. So here we have five apples, ten apples, fifteen apples, twenty, twenty-five. If we want, we can label it number of apples. And here we need the column, which is going to be the price per apple. Uh, so let's do two dollars and we'll increase it by two dollars for each one. Now these can of course be anything uh, but, but what we can see is that this data table is going to output based on this formula uh, this. So it's going to simply multiply the column by the row. So here we should have 40, here should we, we should have 10, here we will have 20. Now to, to pull up the data table, and I'm going to show you this using all hotkeys. I recommend using the keyboard. I almost never use a mouse, and that's the Excel Pro way. Once you get it down, you'll be much, much faster, and you'll impress your friends and your boss as well. So in order to access the data table, um, you're going to use Alt-A for the data tab. You can obviously click this with your, with your mouse as well, but I prefer the shortcut keys. Uh, and then W for the what if analysis. You can either you can either uh, use the number key or sorry the um, arrow keys to move down, or you can just press the T. We're going to press data table. It's going to bring up this dialog box, and basically we just need to input two variables, which of course we have a two variable data table. So we are going to select our row input cell, and the row is obviously just whatever's up here. This is on the row, and this is the column. So the row is going to be the number of apples. You press the tab key to drop into the cell input cell. And this is going to be the price. So these are the two um, variables that are going to be changed. And when we press OK, it's going to fill in the blanks. And uh, I think we'll just make this a, um, a, doll a dollar symbols. And let's uh, see I'm using the hotkeys, Alt H9 to get rid of decimal places. So this is solving. As we said, this should be 10, this is 40, this is 20. And the interesting thing is this actually doesn't matter. You don't need anything in these boxes. It, it, it's not using those. I was just showing that to demonstrate that, that the formula works. But this is actually where the variables are now being programmed. Uh, so that's a two-variable data table. If you have any questions on those or uh, want to see some more examples, just let me know in the comments. And definitely don't forget to subscribe because we have a lot more great Excel videos coming up soon.